Welcome to another episode of Merrick's Garage. This is a slight departure from my last videos documenting the rebuild of the K5 Blazer after the rollover and bringing you a video of one week prior to the rollover when my family and I went up to Mammoth Mountain for about four or five days to spend some time together, play in the snow, explore, and just have a blast. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. You know what to do. We've made it up to Mammoth and it is time to go explore a little bit and find these guys some snow to jump around. But there's so much cool stuff to do. The truck did great. Let me show you a little bit about what we've got set up in here. Come on in, Ryder. So the drawers work really well for carrying everything. Water's on your Snowshoes, recovery gear, ropes, everything we would need. And, it's really, and then they put ice in it. Yeah, and we're going to go explore and have a good time, so let's go. Made it up to Convict Lake, taking the kids to do a little sledding, a little snowshoeing, a little bit of exploring. And apart from the truck throwing a random code and cutting off my throttle, whatever reason who knows I'll look into that in a little bit We're having a great time it's uh, really fun to be up here with the capable four-wheel drive let's go see what the kids are up to or two ago I took my truck through a pretty deep water hole and got some water up inside the tack module and that has created havoc for me for quite a while. I ended up cutting the tack module open and using uh, electrical parts cleaner and just completely uh, dried and cleaned it off, put it back together, siliconed it all up, packed the fitting with uh, dielectric grease. And everything's been good since then. I was consistently throwing a code before that under full throttle that I just could not trace to anything other than a bad module. Uh, it popped up again on this trip yesterday. I didn't have my, my uh, little tablet with me, so I couldn't clear it. Um, what I ended up doing was just unplugging the MAF and unplugging the TPS and unplugging the, the TAC module, letting it sit for a second or two, plugging it back in, and starting it back up and the code disappeared. So I don't like that. I don't like not knowing what it could be. So we are going to scan it right now and see if there's any stored codes that can give me some more insight into what we're dealing with. 
I got a cheap little Android tablet for pretty much exclusive use with the OBD link that I have. I had a Wi-Fi that would connect to my iPhone, but it was so problematic in connecting that it was pretty much useless. So I have swapped over to a Bluetooth and it seems to be working really well. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Yep, those are the codes that I've been getting. It's the voltage correlation, uh, the P2135. I believe that has to do with condensation inside that sensor. Sorry, inside that TAC module. So it looks like I might be buying a new TAC module. But for now, let's clear them and we'll see if they come back. Okay, I'm gonna start it up here. Let's scan it one more time. Well, unfortunately, my plans to go do some snow wheeling were negated by the fact that Mammoth has received a metric ton of snow. I mean, it's 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 really uh, it's really awesome to see, just because we really haven't seen this much snow in a long time. I remember coming up a year or so ago, and there was bear patches at this complex. So snow wheeling was out. I checked a bunch of stuff, and it was just <laughs> it was just too much. But we had a blast up here. As you can see, we got about six inches last night and heading back down today. Well, no trip up the 395 is complete without stopping at Alabama Hills. I love this place. I discover something new every time I come up, which isn't saying much because there is so many little hidden nooks and caves and places to explore. It's a kid's paradise. My kids are off running up, climbing and jumping and running around like animals right now. And yeah, so our snow wheeling trip ended up at Alabama Hills. <laughs> but I couldn't be happier because I love it out here. Okay. So the juxtaposition of the Eastern Sierras and the high desert is one of the reasons I love Alabama Hills. Whitney Portal is right up the road from us that takes us up to Whitney, which is the highest mountain in the continental United States. You've got Death Valley less than 100 miles from here. And down here, it's flat, high desert. It, it really is stunning to have all these geologic things occurring in the same area. It's awesome. Everything my kids are doing right now is absolutely terrifying my wife. <laughs> it, I, she's a wonderful woman and a great mother, but it is rather entertaining because they climb on everything. 